What's up, guys? This is Lucian Sword. Uh, got some exciting news for you today. Um, I was kind of wa wanting to play a new game, and you know, I've been missing uh, Dark Souls type of games. You know, I beat Bloodborne, but it's been a while since I played that. And really, I really miss Dark Souls One, and I kind of want to do a playthrough of that. But um, my wife bought me a copy of. Demon Souls for uh, I think for Christmas uh, this last year and I have yet to play it I've never played Demon Souls um, I know it's kind of old nine old now it got best of 2009 uh, so you know it's old um, but look at all those awesome ratings obviously uh, Demon Souls was the first Souls game so you know this is kind of like I don't know, uh, the Holy Grail or the original gangster of Souls games, and I kind of want to play it because I've, you know, played so much of the sequels. Kind of want to see what all the uh, hype is about on the original. So I, uh, that's what the disc looks like. If you guys have never played Demon Souls either, maybe there's other people like me. Maybe you played Dark Souls, or maybe you played Bloodborne, or Dark Souls Two, or Scholar of the First Sin, or whatever. Um, but you never actually got a chance to play Demon Souls. Well, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and play it. You can watch me play, and um, coming at it from a really experienced Souls player, I'm assuming I'll be, you know, not quite a total noob at it. I'm assuming the combat and everything is somewhat the same. So, but um, I don't normally do this, but this is the manual that came with it, and it has like. Um, it has like a little intro lore, um, just one little page of lore there. You guys probably can't read it, but um, I did. I read it, and it's it's interesting. It's it explains why there's fog gates. Basically, there's like the old one, and we have to beat him, and like yeah. But I also wanted to see what all the starting classes were, and was surprised to see that there's ten different starting classes. Um, I'm, after reading them all, you know, normally I like to play like a warrior type soldier, but I'm leaning towards either Temple Knight or um, maybe Royalty because it says you get a rare ring even though you start at level 1. Um, depends how good the ring was, I guess. Um, if it was a ring that doubled experience, you know, then that would be worth it, but I don't know. I'm a total noob at this game, so... This is not going to be like a regular walkthrough, by the way, guys. I'm just going to... This is like a playthrough. Blind playthrough. I've never played it before. Never even put the disc in. So, speaking of putting the disc in... Let's go ahead and do that. Let's switch the camera. Can I? No, I can't. Well, let's slide it over so you can watch me put the disc in. Got the disc. Oh, PS3 keeps sliding around. Here's the disc. Demon Souls. There we go. Disc is in the system. There it is. Sweet. All right, guys. This is when I start recording. Um, gonna start here, so let's go ahead and switch over to the screen. Alright, I believe we are live, and this is Demon Souls with Lucian Sword. Let's go ahead and launch the game, and of course there's feature automatically uploads new save data, yes. All right, let's check out this opening cinematic. Maybe there is one, I'm not sure. The Souls games aren't really known for their cinematics. Oh, sorry. Almost ate the mic there. Demon Souls.
Woohoo, that sounds just like Dark Souls. And I have a huge glare on the screen. I gotta shut the curtains. Much better. <laughs> I have my PS3 controller ghetto rigged on like a six inch USB cable to my laptops, four port USB hub because the controller is like dead and I have to keep it plugged in while I'm playing so kind of sucks but I got it to work. This is what put From Software on the map. Good, it's got the ragdoll physics, I'm assuming, from Havoc. On the first day. Man was granted a soul, and with it, clarity. On the second day. Upon earth was planted an irrevocable poison, a soul-devouring demon. That's gonna be me here in a few minutes. Big skeleton. Ah, uh, this is the game that introduced getting help from your friends via the phantom system. Assuming that's the old one. Holy shit. That looked friggin' epic. This game is crazy already, man. I can tell. New game. I accept. Gonna make me scroll down? Demon Souls Online Mode is a new element designed to let a new element designed to let players help each other out and enjoy the game even more. You can get hints from messages and bloodstones left by others. And for blocks you just can't seem to clear, you can summon players who have become souls to help you out. Um, yeah, this is the game that I'm, I actually remember reading an article about this game when it was like revealed at E3 or something. And I remember reading on IGN or Game, uh, GameSpot something about a game that lets you, that was really, really hard and that let you play or let you leave messages and tips for other people and that you could also like trick people with the messages and it was this game but because it was a PS3 exclusive I didn't pay that much attention to it because at the time I had an Xbox 360 and a Wii but um yeah this is crazy that I'm actually finally playing it and how much time I've put into the sequels all right I'm going to have to look at my laptop screen for, to judge this, and because on YouTube it seems like it, the videos are always dark, so I'm going to put it to max. OK. 
camera speed I'll put up a little bit. Looks good to me. Straight into the character creation. All right. Let's go ahead and name our character. Gotta love this PS3, like, old school 1990s phone texting um, keyboard. Let's be... Damn it, I just want to see what the female looks like. Okay, going back to mail. Knight, hunter, priest, magician, wanderer. Barbarian has pretty much straight up uh, melee warrior there. They start with the worst weapons. I might actually end up going this route because I'm pretty heavy melee. But I like doing some casting spells on the side. Don't care about that. Temple Knight. This one's got faith. This is going to be probably what I pick. Royalty. That's more of a dexterity caster, faith magic type person. Um, I'm going to go Temple Knight because it's got pretty good strength and uh, dex and endurance vitality. And it has faith which means I can cast miracles like healing spells and whatnot um, let's be a westerner and let's randomize how we look because I really don't care that much and we'll go with mm, great that one looks good Change the hair for sure, though. Um, trying to find one that doesn't look really bad. Alright, this one looks like Trunks from Dragon Ball Z, so... Let's see if we can make the hair the same color as his, too. Do you got cyan hair color? No? Alright, well... How about, um, uh, just black. Nah, it doesn't look like it fit in blonde. Brown is alright. Great! Oh god, I'm not gonna get into all the details. Alright, let's do it. Temple Knight Lucian begins his journey to the old one and demon souls King Aland the 12th by channeling the power of souls brought unprecedented prosperity to his northern kingdom of Boletaria that is until the colorless deep fog swept across the land Boletaria was cut off from the outside world and those who dared penetrate the deep fog never returned. But Valarfax of the royal twin fangs broke free from the fog and told the world of Boletaria's plight. That the old king Alant had aroused the old one, the great beast below the nexus from its eternal slumber, and that a colorless fog had swept in unleashing terrible demons. The demons hunt down men and claim their souls. Those who lose their souls also lose their minds. The mad attack the sane and chaos reigns. Valarfax spoke of the enticing power of the demon souls. Each time a demon claims a human soul, the demon's own soul is invigorated by the life force. And the power of a mature demon's soul is beyond human imagination. The legend spread quickly. Mighty warriors were drawn to the accursed land. But none have returned. 
Bjor of the Twin Fangs. Yurt the Silent Chief. Sage Urbane. Skurber the Wanderer. The Sixth Saint Astraea and her knight Garo Vinland. And Sage Freik the Visionary. The colorless deep fog slowly creeps beyond Boletaria's borders. Humankind faces a slow and steady extinction. The deep fog will eventually swallow all lands near and far. But Boletaria has one final hope. A lone warrior who has braved the baneful fog. Has the land found its savior? Or have the demons found a new slave? Cool intro, although I gotta say it was basically word for word the um, first page in the manual. Thought I was getting ahead of myself by reading that, but I guess it's already in the game. Didn't really care for the last sentence, it seemed kind of cheesy, but. Brave soul who fears not death. I shall guide you. Who is talking to me? I'm guessing all the people they named are people I'm gonna meet. In the game. So that you may lull the old one back to slumber. Don't trust the light. Awesome. The graphics aren't that bad for uh, being a PS3 game. Looks like I have a light source on my belt. Got a standard shield here. Got your parry. Looks like I start with a halberd. I got a heal miracle, which is always nice. So I can go two handed. Yep, this is pretty much. That's a nice attack. How do you do miracles again? Oh, yeah, I have to have this equipped. Uses mana. I'm not sure if mana recharges or what. R1, standard attack. Oh god, I'm so heavy. This armor is like ugh, really slow. Direction plus hold O to sprint. L1 is guard. So far the controls are exactly the same. I'm getting two souls per kill. Birds, but I can always get a sword later, you know. Oh man, that roll is gonna kill me though. This game is definitely very fast and fluid, much more uh, touchy. Oh, didn't even see that guy. Oh, sorry about that. My phone was ringing, and I somehow I ended up getting a critical attack without even. I swear I wasn't even looking at the screen. Look <laughs> at love those physics. And our first loot. Crescent Moongrass. I'm assuming it heals me. Some kind of healing herb. Um, I don't really want to use that item because I'm pretty sure it's a healing item. Let's just check. Yes. And I'm full health almost. Got some more. Should I drop down? 
Actually, that's probably the way I have to go. I'm assuming this is locked. Yeah. Ow, every time I roll, it's like painful. Back step. Yep. Trying to parry, but didn't really work. All right. One thing I learned is to always walk around with your shield raised when you're in an area that you're unfamiliar with. got to use this uh, thing's reach to my advantage. What's this? Arcstone. Warp to a new area? Um, let's look around first. Might be some loot. Mm. Nothing. Alright, I'll warp. I wonder if there's bonfires in this game. Saint Urbane. Usually you're not a saint until after you're dead. R2, strong attack. That was a parry. What's the frickin' point of pairing? Ow. There we go. Ooh, yeah. Slammed in the ground. So you gotta, like, parry right when their blade is, like, gonna hit you, pretty much. Ah, I knew that was the next thing I was gonna say. Oh, man. This game reminds me so much of Dark Souls. Man, you almost have to parry, like, after the fact. Do I get more souls when I do a parry? I keep wanting to pull out my torch. Shows you how... Uh, at least I am to Dark Souls, too. Even Dark Souls had a torch. Wield weapon with both hands. Uh, I prefer using my shield. Still not really good at parrying. Just gotta break his uh, guard, I guess. Finally. That cow was hard to kill. Better use a uh, crescent moon grass. Change your weapon, change item. Yeah, I can heal. No, I probably can't. Yeah, I only have enough mana to do one healing spell. Half Moon Grass, which is probably just a higher tier healing item. With Talisman equipped, yes. Thank you. Oh, dodged ya, and I'm slow as a turtle. Lots of healing items. Probably for most people, they probably are getting hit a lot, but I'm so used to how Souls games work that... This is pretty easy for me. Let's look around. Nothing here.
Got a fog gate up ahead. Anything over here? Whoa! I'm not sure how you jump. Where's the controls? Ooh. I don't know how to jump. Oh. I guess it's just doing like a running leap. It's about as best as you can get. Alright, let's go through the fog. healing items. It's too bad that the mana doesn't regenerate. Or maybe there's uh, other items. No. Man, like the symbols that stand for defense, blunt, pierce, slash, those are like kind of crazy looking runes. Reminds me of RuneScape. Or uh, the runes in Diablo 2. Ja Ithbur. Alright, let's take on a boss. I'm ready. Oh, big fatty. Oh, yeah. Big fatty. I don't even need my shield. Take that 50 damage. Can I beat this fatty without even getting touched? of your problems will be solved. Combat music is not the best. Oh man, I took that one in the face. Woo! Heal! shall obtain the demon soul and a power that is beyond human imagination. So I just became more powerful than any human like could imagine. Sweet. Well, I wonder if I should have looked around before I um, took that. Well, I'm assuming I'm going to get transported to the Nexus now, which I've heard about as the uh, central place where people hang out. I just pissed off an even bigger demon. <laughs> That's the game telling me, don't get cocky. I got more people over that game. Oh shit, it's actually the old one. Alright, let's go straight to the end boss. I can take you now. I'm more powerful than any human can imagine. Hold on a second, I gotta come down these stairs to get to you. 
Hold on. I'm coming. I'm coming, you big fatty. After I grab these items. Shard of hearts. Ah, it's for uh, strengthening your weapon. I'm coming. Wow, was I supposed to come here? This is a ton of awesome loot. Alright, 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 I made it. What do you want? Oh. I'll let you get the first blow. I, uh... Usually I let the enemy get the first hit just to, uh... You know... So I don't get arrested because they gotta hit you first. You know... That was a lucky hit. I didn't even have a chance. As soon as I walked in there, it cut to a uh, black screen. So this is how it sends you to the Nexus. It forces you to die. Yeah, I gotta get some lighter armor. This is way... Or increase the stat that... Gives me the uh, strength be granted so the world might be mended. Cause man, that was slow. So the world might be mended. I love my uh, rolls. Dodging is so important. I'd rather be able to dodge fast than have armor. I don't care. Like armor doesn't really save you if you get hit. As you can see, I almost got one shot. This is the nexus. It holds together the northern land of Boletaria. Who is the... Thou canst not exit the Nexus, but each of the five arch stones will connect them to the Damn, it's like straight up, you cannot escape the Nexus. However, by capturing demon souls, you can reclaim your physical body. Extra binding ring. Um, let's equip that ring. No? Thought it was a ring. The user loses souls and is returned to the Nexus. Interesting. All right, so I have half the health, pretty much. That's a cool-looking floor. Um, let's talk to this guy. Well, you slipped through the fissure too, did you? You came for demon souls, or to save this land and be remembered as a hero? <laughs> Hunting for demons? Try one of the arch stones. Now go. That is why you came, is it not? To this accursed volatarium. Man, he's a little bit somber. So I see there's Arkstones. Arkstone of the Chieftain. Shadow Man. So can I go to any of these at any time? Nope, don't have one there. Tower Queen. Burrow King. Arkstone of the Small King. I'm stockpiled. When the scourge came, my wife right. but I would be worthless in battle. At the very, I would be happy to lighten your. Yeah, he'll take stuff that you don't want. Um. In this game, like how much weight you have with on you actually um, matters. So you want to store. Probably stuff, but Wait, let's go ahead and right? see if I can get a sword. I really don't like the halberd. In trade with your. See, normally you don't keep your souls when you die, but I did somehow. Short sword is a thousand. Kind of want to get. Kind of want to get the battle axe. Um. You need nine. 
strength. Or I mean 11 strength. Costs a lot. And I gotta spend some just to repair. Um. Gotta repair all my armor too. Man, this game is probably gonna be a lot more hardcore than the other Soul games. Can I upgrade my weapon? Yes, I can. Or I can save these and use them when I get a sword, which is what I'm gonna do. Alright. He won't let me sell Duke any comes. items. Whoop. This guy I can only deposit or take. Hmm. Well, since I'm not gonna use the... Um, stones right now. I'll just deposit them all. Rest assured, your best of luck to All right. Well, guys, I uh, think I'm going to end the episode here. This is going to be an exciting journey through Boletaria. Um, I can tell that this game is going to be really hard. Not really like how the controls seem a little slippery, though. Like, like your character s keeps moving for a half a second after you let go of the stick. Like, I don't know, it's hard to explain, but um, I can see how this game became popular already. It just has so much unique charm to it. The atmosphere, the music, how it looks, how it feels, um, how it's probably really confusing at first. Um, luckily, I, I know so much about Souls games already that um, I know what's going on. Like when you die, you, bec you know, you, and what happens when you kill things and how to how the combat flows so anyways uh drop this video a like if you want more demon souls videos faster i do record other games so um if you want priority on the demon souls playthroughs let me know by liking the video and um subscribing if you haven't um i can also uh promise that i'm gonna try to beat this game for sure just how long it takes i'm not sure um, cause there's not really much to play waiting for Dark Souls 3 and all that, so... And I know that they're gonna make a Demon Souls 2 eventually. Probably on the PS4, I would assume. They're probably making it right now. And it'll probably be coming out after Dark Souls 3, I would guess. You know, then maybe after Demon Souls 2, they'll make a Bloodborne 2, and you see how it works. Um, so, anyways, guys, thank you for watching. Do I have... No, I don't have any emotes or anything. I guess they added that in Dark Souls. Well, I would wave to you if I could. This is Lucian's sword, guys. As always, thank you for watching, and take it easy.